Adam from Dead Radio here. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Eclipse today through a welding helmet. Now you can't use any welding helmet. Most welding helmets use a number 10 uh, glass and that is not strong enough. You need a 12 or above. So 12 or a 14. A lot of these auto darkening helmets like what I'm going to use go to a 13. So make sure you turn it up all the way. Um, another thing that you need to think about is not all of these auto darkening uh, helmets are going to work for this. If you point it up at the sky and it doesn't go black, that means it's not working. One solution to this is actually pointing a TV remote at this little sensor down here in the bottom and the infrared from the television remote will actually darken it for you. So I'm going to try and get a shot of the sun through this with the camera. I don't know if it's going to work, but again, anything above a number 12 glass should be safe. If you want to test it look really quick and then close your eyes not looking at the sun and if you have any spots of any kind stop using that mask here's how you test your welding helmet to make sure that it works so we're pointing it at a shaded area and as you can see we can plainly see through the visor no problem now we're going to pan over and point it at the sky and now into the sun and you see how quickly it goes black now you want to make sure you're not looking directly through it when you test this See? And then we go to a shaded area, and there you go. And now back up at the sky. And now let's see if I can get a shot of the sun. And there it is. So obviously we're not gonna be able to get a very good image through here, but it looks great in real life.